A carving by robot of a horse's head taken more than 200 years ago from the Parthenon, Greece's most renowned 5th century BC monument, would help persuade the British Museum to finally return the Elgin marbles. The carving is a highly accurate replica of the Selene horse, part of the collection of marble sculptures by Phidias. made to decorate the temple 2500 years ago oh yeah is that but also just the you know the, the, the the executive director and founder of the institute for digital archaeology or ida roger mitchell said we chose the selene horse because it's an object that that most people know already so it will help them when they see our our reconstruction of it since they already have a good idea in their minds of what this thing is supposed to look like when they see our object i'm hoping that it will align with their memory of the object the new selene horse is now on display at freud museum in london and is indistinguishable from the original according to the ida So this is the pentelic marble version of the uh, of the Selene horse. It's a uh, uh, a product of about I don't know 9 to 10 weeks worth of work in terms of the scanning, in terms of the construction of the 3D model. Then the the robot went to work roughing this thing out over the period of about I don't know 7 or 8 days and then artisans have been working on it for now, I don't know, 3 weeks. getting it perfect. The last the last 3 to 5% is all hand work and that's the crucial 3 to 5%. The robot sculpture is in a specialist workshop in Italy and could recreate the entire Parthenon sculptures in around 18 months according to the IDA. So it's a multi-part process. So the first part of the process is to gather data uh, that enables us to create 3D models of the sculptures. Now we're doing that from the floor of the gallery. um in accordance with the visitor guidance from the British Museum so essentially we're just going in there like any other visitor with um a set of tools that actually anyone can buy so uh iPhone iPhones uh, with good quality cameras um and also iPads that are equipped with uh, lidar applications that allow us to make uh quite basic initially 3D models of the objects that we see in the gallery. Uh, obviously we don't know for sure but I personally have a hunch that were this technology available to, you know, Phidias were available to Michelangelo, you know, I think they would have embraced it with enthusiasm. Athens has campaigned to have the Elgin marbles returned from the British Museum since they were removed by the British diplomat Lord Elgin in the early 19th century when he was ambassador to the Ottoman Empire then ruling Greece The British Museum bought the marbles in 1816 and British officials say they has been acquired legally by Elgin a claim Greece denies The British Museum say there are no current discussions with the Greek government on their return The British Museum currently uses hundreds of copies of objects to teach people about art history. In fact, in the two galleries right next to the gallery where the Elgin marbles are, it's filled with reconstructions. They've got reconstructions of the Temple of Darius and the Temple of Xerxes. They also have reconstructions of of many of the Parthenon sculptures that are still in Greece. So this is a museum that's already making ample use of reconstructions to teach people why with respect to these particular objects, it's almost like it's because the Greeks want them that we won't give them back. They they want these things for the same reason that the British treasure the crown jewels that Americans treasure the Statue of Liberty. It's because this object is part of the part of their history, it's part of their identity, it's part of the fabric of their of the, of their of their history and they want the objects back for the metaphysical value that they have, not for their appearance. So, this was a win-win situation. We could provide the British Museum with reconstructions in many forms. They could be reconstructions of the objects as they appear today or they could be reconstructions of these objects color restored, fingers, toes and arms restored as they appeared at the time they left Phidias's studio 
Um, I, I, what I'd like to see personally is, a, is, a, is a, a phased approach, and people have talked about this, whereby some number of sculptures uh, leave perhaps this year, and then as people get used to that idea, perhaps more of them the following year. So I think that this, this, they're, 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 the idea of a, a compromise, a partnership, a, 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 a phased approach, all that makes a lot of sense in the context of a, um, of a conflict that's gone on for 200 years. To expect anybody to turn on a dime, I think that's expecting a lot. Among the visitors admiring the new Selene horse was vice chair of the British Association for the Reunification of the Parthenon's Sculptures, who said the robotic replica will affect the debate. This is an emotional moment because I've grown up with the horse of Cellini in my house from the day I was born. We had a copy in resin from the British Museum at the top of the staircase, so everyone would walk in and be welcomed by it. And so seeing this beautiful upgrade, almost the real thing, and being able to caress it and just see it is, is really moving. Well, I, I think the robots are very charismatic, they're fascinating to people, they're great fun to watch. They certainly were part of the public interest in the story, and I think that you need to have uh, 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 an in. You need to find a way to drag the public into the story, to learn a little more about it. Once the public learned the details, the facts of the story, then the judgment came down easily on the side of the Greeks. So I think that maybe the real value of this story was to create something that was fascinating to people for a whole host of different reasons, many of them not political, but once they were into the story and were given the opportunity to make a judgment, the judgment came down in favor of the Greeks.